Hello, and welcome to this month's edition of the InDesign Newsletter, where you learn tips and tricks and general things about InDesign. Who am I? I am Andrea Baslassen. I'm an Adobe community expert. I'm also a college instructor of graphic and web design. So now that you know who I am, let's get started. All right, so in this month's edition of the newsletter, we are going to create a table of contents. Now, a lot of people, when they do their table of contents, they're typing or they get it from a Word file and they type it. Well, InDesign is awesome because you can actually create the table of contents inside of InDesign. You can have it do the work for you and generate it. And no typing um, is required as long as you create your paragraph style. So it looks at the paragraph styles that you select it to use and it creates a table of content. Now I'm going to show you that, um, how to do that today. All right. But first I want to show you the table of content that we're going to create. Um, this is a fictitious magazine. Um, and this is the table of content for it. So it has, um, Lauren Ipsum or gibberish text. I do like to show you how to do that. Um, because if you're doing a quick mock-up to show a client or for someone and you don't have the content, you can still create the table of content and all the information, and then you can fill in the content once they're done. This actually helps you as a designer so you're not waiting around um, to get started for content. You can actually have everything set and then you just replace it. All right. So I do want to show you, let me reset my, I'm going to reset my uh, workspace so that it looks like yours. I'm going to reset essentials. This way you'll know what things to pull out. I'm not going to use CC libraries uh, today. So I'm actually going to close this one. So I'm going to grab it and close the X. But this is the magazine that we're going to create. Like I said, there's the table of content. And if we look at our styles panel, now, typically I'm in essentials classic, but I'd want to be in something like the book panel. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm gonna actually choose either digital publishing or the book panel. Either one of these are gonna give us a lot of the panels that we're gonna need. Um, so I'll show you, let's look at digital publishing. Digital publishing is gonna add some of the stuff that we need to publish our, uh, you know, to publish digitally, like liquid layout and things like that. Um, but I'm actually gonna choose the book panel. That's one of my favorites. And I'm gonna reset just to make sure it is set up just like yours. Okay, there we go. All right, so the book panel is gonna give us a lot of things, especially when we're creating a book. Notice there are hyperlinks, bookmarks, cross-references, conditional text, index. Like There are a lot of things that are in this panel um, that are awesome. What we're looking for though is our styles panel and we want the paragraph styles, which are up here. Um, there's also a character styles, but we didn't do any of those um, in this one. So on paragraph styles. I'm going to pull that out so that I can show you what that actually looks like. All right. So we have, you'll see that the basic paragraph style, which is just set as default, but we have a heading, a header, subhead, body, ordered list, TLC header, TLC one, TLC two. These are all the things that comprise that are used inside of this document. Okay. And the way that we can see it, uh, if I click in here, this TLC header you're going to see the style light up. Now with this one, I created a fun font. So it's basic paragraph and you'll see that plus is there. And that plus is there letting you know that the actual style that was here has been overwritten because I didn't make this a particular paragraph style. But if I needed to make it a paragraph style, I could. All I have to do is go down here just so you can see how you make paragraph style. Click on the plus and then I can click here and then I can say... Um, I could say mag title or something like that. And so then I just created that paragraph style quickly. And now what we can do is we can look in this, let's double click so that we can open this style. And then you'll see everything that comprises this style. So you'll see that there's um, machine rounded uh, font and then there's extra bold. Uh, the size is 72 point. There is a stroke that's on it that's black. These over here are all of the things that you can create styles with. So like um, these are all of the subtopics. So there's basic uh, formats. And when you click it, then you get the options um, for that topic. 
Uh, so if we want to basic character formats, if we wanted to do in and spacing, tabs, all this, all those things. Now I've already um, created a video showing you about paragraph styles. So uh, if you look through uh, the past videos, you'll see that one. I will probably probably be doing another one in the future because it's just so important and um, easy to miss and things change all the time. And it's just awesome. It's just very awesome. But um, if you want to go back and look through and see those, uh, you can. But those are pretty much uh, the different styles and how you um, can make changes. Okay, I'm going to say okay. And so now we have, when I click in here, you'll see I have mag title. You'll also see that this comprise of two styles. So if I click here, there's the TLC header that's uh, applied to this. So the first one, which is Firefly Haven, looks like this. And then TLC header looks like that, which is kind of cool. All right. And if I click through these, you'll see that that's the TLC header. This is the TLC1, TLC2. And then we get into the story where we have the header and we have... Um, sorry, heading, and then we have header, and then we have subhead, and then we have body. So we have all of this that this magazine um, is comprised of. Those are the styles for it. Um, I, I love Firefly. That's Adobe's new um, AI engine, um, AI program, and it's really awesome. Um, and, but all of the images in this magazine were created um, with Firefly. Okay. All right. So now let's get to the nitty gritty. We're going to uh, delete that um, table of content because I want to show you how to create the table of content. I know you're like, what? What did she just do? It's okay. I promise you. I'm good. I'm going to hit W because remember W is how we get through our preview modes. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab, oh, I'm going to go ahead and generate the table of content. Again, it's going to look at all of these. We want these headers. We want all of these um, headings. We want the uh, subheads, you know, and header and subheads. We don't want body because if you create a table of content, it's got a lot of body in it. That's that's just a whole bunch of gibberish in there. Um, we're gonna create. Um, we're gonna include the list and things like that. So the way that we do this is we're gonna go up here to layout. Okay, so we're gonna go to layout. We're gonna go to table of content, and then inside of here is where the magic happens. Here's the title. We're going to say the title is table of content. We're going to, the style that we want is going to be that TLC header. But notice we'll go in here and notice you see those styles. Those are the same styles that are in our document. They're all showing up in here as well. Um, so we're going to go for a TLC header for the title. And then now we're telling InDesign what styles we want them to look at to create the table of content. And it's gonna look at the stuff that the styles were applied to. Again, we don't want body, but we do want header, right? That is our um, main style, okay? Actually, let's do magazine title too. All right, so let's grab title, mag title. Let's put that in there. I like to go in the order that I put them in this order for a purpose so that I can see the order um, because when you're creating that table of content, it's actually creating it in levels. And, you know, each one is going to indent. And I want it to stay that way. All right. So magazine title. Next is heading. Okay. So I'm going to grab heading. And you're going to see them indent. Notice that's magazine title. Notice he heading is indenting. They're all coming in at different levels, which is what we want. Okay. Heading. Um, I got heading. Let's go with header. And there it is. Here, let's add that. You can add multiple ones at once by either holding uh, com option or alt, but I'm gonna go one at a time um, just for the purpose of the demo. And then I'm gonna choose subhead, add that. Down here, if you have your styles, which we do have our style set, if you had your style set for your subhead, you can tell it what style that you want it to have here, but I want us to apply it. So I'm not going to do that. Down here, this create PDF bookmarks, I want to be checked to the defaults. I'm going to hit OK. And then notice it's going to give me a loaded cursor. OK. And this loaded cursor, now I can go in and I can, I could either drop it in 
but I want to control. Okay. So typically this is how it would come in. It would come in like this. And then you are responsible for uh, applying these styles. So now what I'm going to do is all you have to do, let me zoom in. Okay. All you have to do at this point is you're placing your cursor in. You don't have to highlight anything because it's a paragraph. And that means after every hard return, it knows it's a paragraph. So all I have to do is put my cursor in the paragraph that I want to be affected by these paragraph styles. So table of content, I'm going to go find the TLC header and I'm going to click that. Okay, so there we go. There's the table of content. Um, Firefly 1, that was our, that's going to be a, a TLC 1. There we go. Um, the story, that's going to be a TLC 1. Notice these leaders that are coming in. So the reason they're coming in is because I set that style inside of here. So if I double click and we look at the styles for TLC one, if you go to tabs, we should see that there's a there's a leader in there. So you see the leader and you see the tab is set at seven. Okay. So that was set um before and that's what's giving us the tab. So the tab is set to almost the edge, the right edge of the page, and the leader dot is there. And that's what's making um these dots. And then whatever's going to be a TLC2, that's how TLC2s come in. This is going to be a TLC1. This is going to be a TLC2. This is going to be, because they're just headers and subheads. It's going to be a TLC1. This is going to be a TLC2. This is going to be a TLC1. This is going to be a TLC2. And this would be a TLC1. And this list would be a TLC2. Okay. And as we can see, um, it's not fitting on our page. So I don't want to create another page for the table of content. I just want it to be one page. So this just means I got to make some uh, modifications, right? So what I'm going to do is with this TLC header, I'm going to double click it and I'm going to make it a lot smaller because it's just too big. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce that size to say 60. And then letting, I'm gonna set it at auto. Nope, don't like that, that's just too much. So I can reduce that size quite a bit just to bring those TLC content a little bit. Yeah, I like that. And then for space after, I'm gonna increase that space and that's this right here. And I'm going to just bring Firefly down just a little bit so I can give it some space. Okay, so that is how we modify the styles. So there's table of contents modified. Um, I'm not sure if I want it. I do want it different than this one. Um, but let me see what changes I want to make. I think I want it to be, let me give it some, some tracking. Let's track these letters out just a bit. Uh -huh. I'm just, and then I'm going to center it. So I'm going to go to center. There we go. So there's the table of content. Okay, happy with that. And if I wanted to change the color, I could go down here to character color and I could pick another color that might work better um, with the design. You see, I kind of like the green. All right, green kind of adds a little different to it. Okay, so I got the table of content. And then with the header one, I also want to show you that you don't have to see how I'm selecting it, but it's already pretty established. So I don't have to select anything anymore. So I'm clicking off, making sure nothing is selected, clicking in the gray area. And what I'm going to do is because it's um, because it's already defined, I can just go in here and make changes. I'm going to hit W so I can see what it's actually going to look like. Um, when it prints out and then, okay. And then if I wanted to make like a difference or distinguish some type of difference between these two, then I could. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and start making a few modifications to the TLC1 and TLC2. So I'm gonna double click. Make sure you don't double click on the name because then that thinks you wanna change the name. What I mean by that is if I double click here, 
Of course not now. But if I double click, if I click here, it thinks I want to change the name. So I try to be outside of the name when I click so it knows I want it to open. Okay. So in this one, I could um, change the color. Maybe I want um, them to be a different color. So maybe I want uh, to be like this pink. You could do that. I wouldn't do that because then the viewer has a hard time reading it. Dark blue. Oh, no, I like that blue. Okay. So I can change the color to blue. Um, I could change the size of this if I wanted to. So I'm going to go back up here. Maybe 28 points is a little too big. So maybe I want to go down to like 25 points. I think that looks good. Okay, hit OK. And then maybe I want to do the same for TLC2. So remember, I'm trying to bring some of that that is overflowing to the other page in. And I can make TLC2 maybe 24 points. And what I also want to do with TLC2 is indent it a little bit so that we can see um, some of that uh, hierarchy. So I'm going to indent it to like maybe 0.25. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to see if all of, if I was successful at bringing everything back and it looks like... Uh, let's see. It looks like I was. I don't see any red. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to close this. And now let's look at our magazine as a whole. Okay. So one of the ways that we can look at this as a whole is, I'm going to hit zero so we can see everything, um, is we can hit uh, shift W, and that's going to take us into presentation mode. All right, so here's our magazine. Here is the cover. Here's our table of contents. Um, you know, any new section when you're creating a book or a magazine, you start on the right side. So that's why this picture is here. And then the table of contents is on the right. Then here's a new section starting, which is a story, which is why this picture is here and its contents on the right. And now we're into the story, we're continuing, and then we're at the end of our magazine. So that is how you create a table of content. Super easy. We didn't do any typing. We didn't do any, um, you know, any work other than the work that we had already done in the magazine. And we use styles to generate that table of content in the layout option. Um, and then in a table of content dialog box. Cool, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this month's edition of the newsletter. If you did, please let us know. Give us a like, a comment, subscribe if you like what you see. And if you wanted to see something that you didn't see, let us know. Put a comment in the link and we would definitely create those videos for you. All right. Thank you for watching, and until next time, ta-ta for now. Ta-ta, ta-ta.